Sanford Sound. We're located at 1438 Main Street in Sanford, Maine. We are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. and Saturdays from 9 until 3 and Sundays by special event and car shows. The signage that we have around the building is all made with highly reflective signs similar like what you see on the highway so everything reflects in the light. Uh, my mission statement is simple make my retail customers my fans people willing to refer business to us we treat everybody very special and we want them to become fans of sanford sound oh <laughs> i didn't see you guys there we're on a little project welcome my little slice of heaven my name is kevin o'malley i'm the bay manager here at sanford sound I've been working with Jack now for about three years this time around. Came in full time, end of 2019, beginning of 2020. But I had been working with Jack before that on various other projects. Team Elite, various car shows, doing photography for him, up to and including working part time a few years back, 2015, 2016, as a sales guy, which is beneficial to me, the sheer fact that I was able to learn both sides of the house at this point. As bay manager, some of the responsibilities that I have here is obviously managing the bays, ordering and keeping up with inventory, keeping a log of what we do for jobs, keeping an open dialogue with sales, which 
our sales pro, Jay, will touch on a little bit later. Also, obviously working with the other install tech, and when we have additional techs here, such as our tinter. Some of the talents that I bring to the job is a determination and a drive to make things go as smoothly and as perfectly as I possibly can. Effectiveness is one of my cornerstones. I like to be able to get the job done, get it done with the best cost effectiveness, but also the best labor effectiveness, and also make it so that the customer is going to be happy, which is a main drive here. I'm sure as you've already heard, Jack has touched on mission goals, customer, customer, customer. We wanna make sure that the customer has that experience where they wanna come back. And that's where some of my talents come in. Other ones that I have is being able to compartmentalize things in my brain to know when something needs to be done. Prime example of that would be we are now in our remote starter season. Making sure that we have all the materials that we need to successfully and effectively install remote starters into cars so we're not chasing around looking for things. Things that I like about here at Sanford Sound, wow, um, cars that we get to work on. And the bay next to me is a beautiful Ford truck. Not many other jobs are you able to work on vehicles like that. Other classic cars that we've worked on, Corvettes, Mustangs, boats that we've worked on, which we'll touch on a little bit later. Big trucks, we worked on a 1987 Peterbilt with more switches on it than I've ever seen in my life and it was gorgeous, but I got to work on that. A DeLorean, I got to drive a DeLorean. It's an environment that's both challenging and rewarding. Not only do we get to experience vehicles like that and actually get inside them and enhance these vehicles as well for the customers, but things outside of work that we get to do, things that, that Jack strives to, again, have that culture, that store culture is bringing us to concerts, bringing us, knocking a, an item off my bucket list, bringing us to SEMA. All things that contribute to Sanford Sound and make us want to work together and be together as a family. I mean, as everybody, you all know, in this industry, we spend a lot of time at work. To have the culture that we have, knowing that we're away from our family, but also with our family. It helps and it promotes an adhesion of this group and it makes us all want to do better. And then the icing on the cake, another reason why I like this place, when we finish a job, a big build, which again, Jay upstairs will touch on some of the, the various budgets on those, when we build a system, whether it's a $300 system or a $13,000 system, to see the customer just overjoyed, dancing sometimes, even with the stoic ones, the stoic customers, we've all had them. Yeah, that's nice to see the smile. As soon as that bass hits, as soon as that high hits, as soon as the entire concert of sound hits them, to see that smile, to see them when they see the video finally show up on their screen, to show the video for their children on their headrests or in the center, it's, it's magic for us. And it's that magic right there that makes myself and anybody else in this industry love it. Hello, my name is Jay Brooks and I'm the lead sales guy here at Sanford Sound. I've been here at Sanford Sound since early July 2022 and I came into this industry not knowing a whole lot on 12 volt. Jack and his team were very gracious to take me under their wing and teach me about the 12 volt industry as well as the whole time I've been here kept me excited by keeping me up to date on new product and showing me what some of the installs look like. My current responsibilities for the store include answering all the phones, scheduling the jobs, meeting customer expectations, giving reliable estimates, and making sure that the showroom floor is clean for the next guy that walks in. What I like best about selling at this store is the amount of displays that we have. It's really nice to have a customer here firsthand and put the product in their hands to show them this is what you will receive because there can be no confusion at the end of the job. 
and it really fills that customer expectation really well as well as gives the store a nice outlook because we have all the product in stock most of the time and we can put it in your hands. Another thing I really like about selling at this store is that the budgets are vastly different. One person could come in here looking for a $300 sound system and the next person could walk in wanting a $13,000 sound system. It can go zero to 100 real quick in this industry and I really love that because it expands my knowledge and tests me based on the 12 volt industry. The type of sales situations I like best are customers that need custom work. Here at Sanford Sound, we love expanding our knowledge whether it be new product or custom enclosures. I personally like custom work because it expands my knowledge on the 12 volt industry as well as gives me a better understanding on what's happening downstairs. The communications between technicians and sales guys are very important in this industry. I'm Andrew. I've uh, been with Sanford Sound, better part of 10 years now. Eight years consistent, took last year off, did my own thing, had to come back. You know, I love what I do and I wouldn't want to do it for anybody else. Uh, my responsibilities now are going to be uh, sales upstairs. So you know, making sales, helping out customers, um, you know, answering questions over the phone, doing the best I can to educate you know, our customers and, and make sure that our techs are well informed on what we're doing and everything like that. I'm also a tech downstairs. So two days a week I come down, do installations. You know, we're always busy, so we can always use another set of hands. Uh, I'm happy to be that, which is wonderful because this is truly what I love to do. You know, fabrication, installation, customization. You know, anything that makes me happy is going to make that customer happy, and, and, and that's my goal. You know, I, 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 love, uh, I love the people I work with, boss included, even though he's, you know, a top dog. You know, it's, uh, we have a wonderful atmosphere here. Uh, we all get along, we're all here to help each other. And that's why, that's why I'm here. That's why I like being at Sanford Sound and that's why Sanford Sound deserves to be number one top retailer of the year. Good evening, everybody, how we doing? My name is Jack Bogart. I own Sanford Sound right here in Sanford, Maine. And this is my video submission for mobile retailer of the year. I'm going to take a minute, we're going to walk around the store, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we offer here at Sanford Sound. So, first off, we start right here with our JL display. This offers, or this shows our C3 line of speakers, the uh, HD amps, things like that, all the stealth boxes and the things that we can do on your vehicles. It's a beautiful display, sounds really, really, really good. It's a great way to sell that product. So, we move into this, which is the stealth box products, shows all the different applications and things like that that people can use for their vehicles. The truck boxes and things like that. We get over here, we have the Alpine Halo. This is the F11. It's a beautiful radio. It's got wireless CarPlay, uh, streams Tidal. It has the ability to hook up to Maestro so you can have all your gauges and things like that showing on your deck. It's a great piece. You can hook it up to their dash cam. Dash cams are a huge product these days. This has front and rear and the radio controls it all. So it's really, really a good piece. Getting into some more of the sub boxes they offer. And then we get over here, and this is where we get into our collision avoidance products. We have backup cameras. We have them in the mirror so you can get a, a 4.3 inch screen uh, image of what's going on when you put your car in reverse. We offer the commercial cams. The commercial cams actually will play audio. So when you are uh, put it in reverse, if someone's back there and they make a noise, you'll be able to hear that. You can't respond back to them, but you can, in fact, hear them so another thing that we have that's really really cool is this camera and this is a DVR dash cam for a motorcycle so a lot of guys will want them on their bike or their side by sides but they're afraid to leave their camera there so what this is ties into the electrical system but you can actually take this piece off you can bring it with you put it in your pocket go into where you're going and you don't have to worry about your camera getting stolen something that's offered here that you don't see at a lot of other shops so we also do the uh, Infrared sensors in the back so that you know if there's people coming up along the sides of you. Uh, the blind spot detectors and things like that. They get mounted on the inside of the bumper. Um, and this will pick up on all that kind of stuff. So this shows, these right here mount to your A-pillar of your vehicle. So you'll get that visual thing in your line of sight. So we get over here, we get into the heated seats. We are in the Northeast. People love their heated seats. Package these with our remote car starters and things like that. So this display shows how the seat heaters work as well as some wireless charging pads for your cell phone. 
Then we get over here, we talk a little bit about different types of USBs that we can add to your vehicle for charging your devices. We integrate with all of that with any of our CarPlay radios and things like that. Dropping down into the Momento line of dash cams, we have the Momento 6 and the Momento 7. Um, and then the newest uh, Momento 7 that just came out that has the Wi-Fi as well. So we're also an Escort dealer, um, and the Escort line has a beautiful line of the, the Max line, the, the CI or the custom installed stuff. So we do a fair amount of those. We also do K40, so we can pick and choose which one is the best suit for that customer and figure out what they want, or if they just want a nice dash unit that they can transport from car to car. And then for the soccer moms. Soccer moms want to keep their kids quiet, so we have a ton of different types of video systems that we can. We can't display them all, but we got the 13.3 inch DVD drop down, comes with wireless headphones, things like that. This is an Android Google tablet that you can put to the back of the headrest and the kids can stream stuff on that or go on the, use your phone as a, uh, a hotspot and stream right on the thing. This is a, uh, one that goes to the back of a headrest. We also have the Visual Logic line which is a little bit more of a higher end custom installed style. So we are able to adapt that for whatever the customer might want. So a whole bunch of options for that, whether it's DVD or streaming. So and then we get over here and we have our car audio line. So we are a Sony dealer. Um, so we have the newest 6,000, the 4,000 offering the wireless CarPlay, the 3200, which is a hot selling radio. What we've done here that's kind of unique to us is we have wired up all the USBs to the radios and labeled them all. So when a customer comes in here, instead of having a bunch of cables hanging down underneath your board, they can just plug into the one they want and we know which one of these Apple CarPlay radios they would pair up to so they can see it and actually see it working. So uh, yes, we still do a ton of single DINs. Single DIN is still a popular category, not quite as popular as it used to be, but we still offer whether they want CD or just streaming ability, we have all that. We have the Kenwood line, Kenwood with the nav systems on them. These are all touchscreen, the board, everything in here works. So customers can be interactive and see what they got and actually play with them. Another thing we do is on our board, we actually, if we can do that, if you can look in the back of the uh, screens here, we've actually uploaded images of our vehicles here in the shop and different things to the backgrounds of these. So you, we can show that, that custom, those are all customizable and people can actually change their, their backgrounds and make it more user friendly. The board's all switching. We have 16 sets of speakers in the front. We offer the rear channels. They're hanging over here behind me up to this back. So if we wanna do a complete surround sound system, we can do that and let them hear what their rears would sound like as well. So over here, we get into our amp line. We can't display every single amp that we offer but we have a, a ton of sub, uh, sub amps, for whether it's JL or Rockford, or we got some DS18 or Alpine stuff. And then we also talk about the four channel amps, our five channel amps, and some of our smaller uh, micro amps that you can get from, let's say Audio Frog. Um, Alpine has one, Rockford has one. There's a, uh, quite a few manufacturers now that have that kind of stuff. So you walk in over here, you get into every month we feature a different line. So this month we're actually featuring the Memphis line and Memphis has everything from SPL stuff to sound quality stuff to power sport stuff to factory replacement stuff, Bluetooth speakers. It's a complete line. Uh, we do really, really well with that product here in Maine. Uh, we sell a ton of it for them and uh, they're very happy to have us as a, as a dealer for them. So, so that's what that display right there is. So you kind of come walking over here. In the middle of the store, as you walk in, you see all the Sony or all the uh, Cirrus XM stuff. You see all the other products we carry, like radios, things like that, Bluetooth speakers. Um, we have some of the Alpine stuff. Uh, surfboard that I made this summer um, to put on my truck out front, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. It kind of goes with that same theme of I have all the different manufacturers' products. We have the 10s, the 12s, and the 8s of every manufacturer with the S, the R, and the X. Over here we have the W7, the W3, and the TW line. Kind of shows you every manufacturer's line from an 8 to a 10 to a 12. Gives that customer an opportunity to actually see the speaker. We can flip it forward. We can show them how they're built. We can talk about how, you know, what makes this speaker better than another speaker. And they can actually see how they're constructed. K40 
can't always see that when they're in a box. So right now in the Northeast, we're doing remote start season. So the remote start season right now is huge. So we have a CompuStar dealer. Um, we do a ton of the 915s. We do a ton of the 925s. We offer drone. We have the one-way and the two-way product. This is a great display. It allows us to sell off of it. One of the things that I did that uh, is kind of cool is I actually made brochures. And the brochures actually have my logo on it, have all the products that we carry in there with the drone stuff. We don't put price in here because we can hand write it in there because every vehicle can be a little bit different. And then some of the other products we offer, and we hand this to them, and they can take that. It's got my phone number and stuff on it. Um, and then they have something to take with them um, when they're talking about it with their wives or whatever, significant others, and what they're trying to buy. So um, we offer the alarm combos. We do straight alarms, all that kind of stuff. So this is where you're going to find all that product. Another thing that people are always asking is, does that void my factory warranty? Well, we all know what the Magnuson Moss Warranty Improvement Act, but you try to explain that to a customer. So I actually printed off the actual language, and I show it right here to them. I let them take a photocopy of it. Kind of explains a little bit about how that, how that works and what's entailed with that, because there's always going to be those people that have those objections as to why we wouldn't want to put a remote starter in our car, and we can try to make them feel better about what their dealer is going to tell them. So as you walk over here, you get into Mobile ES. Uh, Sony has a, another line we don't put in the board because it kind of warrants its own area. Um, elevated standard, high-end stuff. Um, one of the coolest things is the 9500, full touchscreen, wireless car play. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool about this deck is you can actually stream video on it. Now, we know we're not supposed to watch video down the road, but this is tied into the USB in the back. So customers can actually have a, a video on that all playing through their system or they can do their satellite radio, or they can just stream off their device. So talk a little bit about the subwoofers. The Mobile ES stuff all has a three-year warranty, so that's kind of a, a plus for people. And this company's awesome. I just actually won a national sales contest from these guys. was able to go to Miami um, on them and got to meet Ryan Priest, the driver of this car, got an autographed picture of, his, of, the, of the truck, and got to have dinner with them and have a really, really good time with, uh, with Rick Kojan. So it was really a cool experience. So um, you get over here, uh, we get a lot of the old cars in here as well. Uh, Custom Auto Sound um, is a great company. We also do retro sound. It's a little bit of a step up from the Custom Auto Sound stuff. Uh, but we have options and solutions for everybody, no matter what they're driving, whether it's a T-Bucket, whether it's an old... Corvette, whether it's an old T-Bird, whatever it is, we can find a device or find something that's going to give them everything they want right here at the shop. So this kind of shows that kind of product off. And then we all know what happened this year with LED light or last few years with LED lighting. People are lighting up everything. Um, so we have a full line from LED Glow. I just recently got authorized to be an Oracle dealer. So the Oracle line is a, an amazing step up product that works really, really well. Uh, we light up side-by-sides, we light up golf carts, we light up boats, we light up cars, we do trucks, we do rock kits on Jeeps and stuff like that. There's another part of the shop over here I'm going to show you that shows some of that, but we put wheel kits in, all that kind of stuff, all with LED lighting. It really enhances, and it's a huge category for us, and it's, a, and it's something that a lot of shops aren't doing, and they should because uh, lighting is a huge, huge category. Everybody wants to make their stuff stand out more than the other guy. So Rockford Fosgate Motorcycle Audio kind of says it right there, man. It's the bomb. Um, we do a ton of Rockford uh, motorcycle kits. Uh, we do their side-by-side -side kits. This uh, area of the shop is dedicated to motorcycle audio. Um, we have the direct drop-in kits that are made by Rockford, or we can build it from scratch. Um, we have all the kits here on display. Um, we're going into winter now, so that side of the business is slowing down a little bit. But the Rockford product is amazing. They have stuff with lighting, and we put the motorcycle lighting right over here to kind of ties in, right? You want everybody to know. Um, we have a display here that shows lighting on a motorcycle. Um, and then this is some of the accessories that you need for motorcycle audio. Um, some of the other types of decks that you can do with with a metric kit and you can put a, a single din radio in the 98 to 13s um, so we kind of put all that together so people can kind of see everything in one one area and we don't have to jump all over the shop um, talk about you know 
the antennas and things like that that we're going to put on the bikes. Um, whether some of the just Bluetooth things that you can do from JL to just stream, hook that up to a little amp and some speakers. So, um, cut, walking over here, you're seeing a little bit more of the lighting category. And then we tra transition into something that's really, really huge for Sanford Sound, and that's marine audio. Um, we do a ton of marine audio. I'm a JL marine dealer, um, but I also offer the Memphis stuff. I do the Rockford stuff, and we do some of the Clarence stuff. Um, in my market, the majority of the boats we're doing are wakeboards um, or pontoon boats. Um, but we do see some bigger other boats. This summer I did a Sensation, uh, which is a, uh, like a cigarette boat, and did that all up and put a huge system in that. Um, sounds amazing. So marine audio is a huge category for us. We do it with RGB lighting or without RGB lighting. We do tower kits. Um, the tower kits can come with or without lighting. This happens to be the new 8-inch speakers that uh, Memphis came out with. And they have their tweeter array, they call it, which is a little different than a horn tweeter. It's a little bit better sound when you are on top of it, but it throws really far like a horn tweeter would do. So those are all things that we talk to customers about that they don't know. And when they come here, they come here because they want somebody to sell them something. If they didn't want to be sold and they didn't care, they'd, they'd go to Amazon. they go to eBay. They come in here because they expect you to have answers. So... You need to know all the products, and we show everything that you can possibly get. So, over here we have some of the um, drop-in radios that you can do from the Rockford, um, and then we're getting into our step-up pieces, which is our JL line. Um, JL line is a line that I think is the Cadillac of marine audio. Um, we do a ton of it. Um, you know, they have their M3s, they have their M6s, they have uh, subwoofers. Um, they have some amazing head units and some products and, and their media mashers and things like that. Um, this is what they call custom shop. So you get these guys that come in here with a boat and they want to personalize their, their build. So this allows us to say, well, you can get these M6 speakers, but we can do it with a red ring with a white insert. Or they say, oh, you know, I don't want white. I kind of want carbon fiber. So they could do it with carbon fiber. And then they can show it with or without lighting. And we have every color option you can imagine. And we show the lighting kits so we can go through here and show them what they're going to look like with the lights. And this really, really sells add-ons to the M6 line. The M6 line speaker can become so personalized just by showing something like this. So um, you're not going to get that at just your general audio shop. You're going to have to come to a, a real specialist to show that kind of stuff. And then lighting. Again, for us, lighting is huge. So we have lighting over there that talks about side by sides and motorcycles. But over here, we have lighting that shows boats because we do a lot of boats. So this is all the different types of lighting that you can do to a boat. Um, whether it's lighting on the side of the pontoon boat, whether it's lighting on the front that shows port and starboard, whether it's underwater lighting, you want to light up the water. Controllers, you want to, you want to do it from your phone, you want to do it with a remote. How do you want to do it? We can show all those different options and, and give that customer that, ex that true experience of what that is. So, Coming over here, uh, we get into the Power Sports and the Jeep line. Um, I really, really love and dig building displays. It's one of the things that I really enjoy. I think it really, really kind of makes somebody feel cool. So I have my rock lighting, and I took my granddaughter's power wheels, and I brought in a bunch of rocks. And I built it up, and I, sh I show the products and the lights, and I, and I put the Jeep there, and then I put the speakers on it. And this is a working display that allows me to show customers what we can do to your Jeep without actually having a Jeep in my shop. So um, really, really cool. Jeeps are a huge category, uh, probably one of the largest categories that we have currently. Uh, it's the number one accessorized vehicle out there. People that buy Jeeps spend stupid money outfitting them. So... Why would you not want to get behind their products and, and show their stuff? Uh, in the Northeast here, we do plows. I mean, we're going into the winter where people are starting to plow snow. So we do a ton of strobes. And for the guys that don't want to just buy a cheap Amazon strobe, we, uh, we offer different products that you, we can do. So we have everything here um, that you can imagine from, you know, full light bars on top with takedowns to... Um, just some strobes that are put into your headlight assemblies. We have grill lights, 
all my displays work. So when a customer comes in here and wants to see something, they're going to buy it because they can see it work. They're not going to buy it because you sell them a box and say, this is what it does. This sells the product. So just to show them they can change their flash patterns and they can do different things to their strobes and do all the kind of that kind of stuff. And then different options depending on where they want to mount them. And then currently this year, uh, ZZ2 came out with Z-Wags, which is a plug and play product that plugs into your factory harnesses that turns your entire vehicle into a strobing vehicle. So these kits are absolutely amazing. I can't believe more people aren't selling those. Every light on the vehicle will strobe and wigwag with that, that product. So it's just really, really kind of cool. Uh, reverse lights, things like that. Blinker lights, uh, the blades that go on the puckle blades that go on the back of the vehicle. Um, that's all displayed here as well in the shop. So, um, and then on this side, we show our power sport line. Um, Rockford's been good enough to allow us to uh, have a video that streams all their products all the time. So it's like having a salesperson in the store um, when they're busy on the phone. So they can watch these videos and see everything happening. Um, but they've got plug and play kits for razors and rangers and every vehicle you can imagine when it comes to a side-by-side. -side. So, and uh, really, really hard, rock solid product. And then Memphis Audio, man. I bought the Memphis Audio Razor uh, three or four years ago um, and turned it into my own. And this is a showpiece for the store. And in the wintertime, I have it stored in here. And in the summertime, we take it out and have fun with it. But this, this vehicle here has got everything that Memphis has to offer all loaded into it. It's a working sales tool. Uh, the sound system all plays. The lights all flash and strobe. Um, kids come in here and sit in it. And it's a great way to, to show the products that, that Memphis offers right here live. So. When we get over here, we get into the Stinger brand radios that are out now, the tablet style radios. Um, really, really good product, rock solid. Um, so I have a display here to show that. We have plug and play kits for Jeeps. We have plug and play kits for a lot of the Toyota Tundras and the T Tacomas and things like that, as well as the Chevys and the Fords. So. Um, over here we just have some add-on accessories that you would add to vehicles, charging ports, um, uh, wireless charging pads, uh, some radios and stuff that you would add into a Jeep or to a camper or that type of thing. So um, in the wintertime we turn this into a Christmas tree area and, and all our Christmas displays go in here. So um, Working fireplace over here which is really kind of cool in the wintertime up here. And then one of the things that they ask is they, uh, they talk to you us about what do you do other than audio. So, you know, we do lighting as is, is is a thing, but one of the things that we'll do here at Sanford Sound that other shops don't do is commercial sound and home sound. Um, the home sound I don't do as much as the commercial stuff, um, but we do display it all. So I have bookcase, uh, bookshelf speakers. I have speakers that are rocks that you can put out into your landscaping. I have underground subwoofers. We have turntables, and I have albums on display, um, and people still have albums. So um, we also have uh, patio speakers. These go down your, your landscape as you're in your, you know, walking down your, your rock gardens and things like that. Um, this summer, in regards to commercial sound, um, I did a hotel in Old Orchard Beach, and it was three floors. We did PA and sound on every floor. They had a full bar. We did four zones, four sources, subwoofers in the bar, the ability to PA to every room, and I was there from beginning to end, hardwired it in, ran all the wire in in the wintertime, and then finished it up, and they opened up this summer, and that project was huge. I've also, in this community, have done probably 25 to 30 different restaurants. I've done Backstreet Grill. I did Lord's Clam Box. I did Mike's Clam Shock. I did um, Billy's Chowder House, did all the restaurants on the seacoast. In town here, I did our football stadium, um, all the PA and the sound for the football stadium. I did all the sound and PA for the Sanford Mainers baseball team, which is a collegiate baseball team that's here in the summer times. And I did all that PA stuff. I did all the fire stations. I did the police station. I do work with the schools. Um, so I am embedded and working well with many other avenues of sound and lighting. I do people's houses, I do patios, I do decks, I do all that kind of stuff. 
and I do that myself. I go out there on Mondays and Tuesdays in the summertime, and I, that, I just dig that. That's awesome. And the results from that and watching the people smile when they go outside in their space and they're by their propane stove and they're having a fire and their wife's in the pool and they're listening to their audio system is awesome. Priceless. So that's, uh, that's a big category for us. So, um, and the other thing that uh, right over in this part of the store that we have is the waiting area. You know, there's, there's talk in our industry about getting rid of waiting areas and turning them into usable space turning that waiting area into something that, that you can make money with. But I'm here to tell you that in my waiting area, we have popcorn machine with fresh popcorn every day. We have coffee, we have water, we have a comfortable couch. We want people to stay. Now, you know why? Because when they're here for their remote car starter and they're waiting here for an hour and a half to get that car, they walk around and I sell them more stuff and they see all the other stuff they offer because they think that all I do is remote car starters. But once they get in here and they start walking around and they see some of the other stuff, they're like, wow, I didn't know you did that. It's an opportunity to grow that sale and make more stuff and make more things happen. So um, this is my office and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So walking over here, we get into an area that you guys are uh, priding and I've been doing this for years. It's not just something new that I learned because of my involvement with with Mobile Electronics Association is bathrooms, right? They people want clean bathrooms. My bathroom, I take a ton of pride in my customer bathroom, um, and we keep this place spotless. Every single day, it's checked. We have a log right on the back of the door that my guys have to sign off that they've cleaned this bathroom. They come in here two or three times a day just to make sure that it's clean. Uh, we have a bathroom downstairs it's the, for the employees, same thing, just as clean, just as nice as that. So, All right, folks, so at this point, we'll kind of go over the uh, cash wrap area, and we'll take advantage of the time and show you some signage. So like, this, like I said, what we do here is we have all our uh, policies and procedures listed out here, things about our warranty policies, our deals and reference to special orders, that kind of stuff. You can see right above the counter, we have the MEA TV uh, program, which is an amazing program. Um, I change those uh, scrolling in the bottom quite often, um, but it also talks about any of the cool videos and things like that that we've done. Reviews right now are a huge deal. So we have a, you can scan this QR code, or I've actually had business cards made that have that QR code on them. So people can take those QR codes and take them with us. And it kind of gets them energized to give us a review. So. The other thing over here that we have is our award wall. So, um, you know, I have been in the top 12 uh, for three years now. Last year as an alternate, um, I was in it in 2022, as well as 23 as a runner-up, and now this year again um, going, for the, going for the gold, man. But we have all our awards up here. I was the Top Gun Award winner last year for CompuStar. We sold more remote starts in the Northeast than anybody else. I've been behind MEA for many, many years. I went to uh, Mira in Louisville many years ago, um, got all energized from that. They actually did an article about my store. Um, going way back to 2005, I actually won the, from Dolby. I won the Achievement in Multisound. This is back when 5.1 surround was a big deal in cars. I won that award. Um, we also put all our sponsors up here that we sponsor race cars and things like that for everybody in our area. Um, as well as Motorhead um, was a big car club that we did uh, down in Boston. Uh, we went down there as a shop. Um, my car placed in the top 50, so I got a great trophy from that. So this is our award wall. Just kind of, you know, shows all the cool stuff that we've done and now the, uh, the special things that we do here at Sanford Sound. You come around here, you get into the uh, customer swag area, uniforms, wiring, things like that. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to show you the, uh, the cash wrap area. So what we have over here, you guys, is our little work area. So this is where we do our cash wrap. This is where we write up our jobs and our estimates. One of the things that's kind of cool about us is we have a system design sheet that I built. It talks about all the different things that we can do. You can see them down there. Once we get them done, we keep these on file. We have estimates. We have book jobs. We have finished jobs. When a job comes in for the day, we write up a work order. Everybody takes a work order, writes a basic description of what's going to happen, puts it in one of these. 
throws it up here with the keys. And this is where the guys find their work for the day. So all our jobs are entered into an appointment book. I still use a handwritten appointment book. Um, I have two books. I have one for car audio stuff, and I have one for window tinting and uh, lighting and stuff like that in the basement. So two different sets of installers. They look at the book that they need. So um, another thing that we do here at Sanford Sound that you're not going to see at a lot of other shops is I've done some things. I made these little counter hangers. These counter hangers are going to hang on your rear view mirror. And what we're going to do with these is handwrite a little note about what we did to your job or what we think the next upgrade would be or anything else that's pertinent to the install. And we hang these on the rear view mirror of every car. So that's a, a nice way to reach out to that customer afterwards and let them know that you know, we're here for more. So with my remote starts, every one of the remote starts that gets done here at Sanford Sound gets a little sticker mounted to the module. Okay, we have rolls of these stickers downstairs in the basement. And basically what this sticker says is it says, warning, do not tamper with this install. It goes on to talk about how to get a hold of us. It has my email address on it and my phone number. That way the dealership and or anybody that looks at it knows that this is put in by us, a professional shop, and they know how to get a hold of us. And they know not to mess with the install and to take it out. So we do that with all of our jobs. So. We also have our Intoxilock area. This is where we're going to bring um, customers that have their, uh, their breathalyzers um, calibrated and things like that. A cash wrap area for customers to slide their own pins and their credit cards into. Our cashier um, computer system, we use SoftSell. The SoftSell program keeps track of all my inventory as well as all my sales and all that kind of stuff. All of that stuff's here and everything that supports whatever you would do. Gift certificates and things like that are all written down there small handout products that customers might need, a photocopier, um, extra little tidbits and things like that that uh, we need for installs, uh, you know, fuses and things like that. So that's the cash wrap area, you guys. Thank you. Section five, behind the scenes of the store. Office spaces and shop vehicles. So I have my own private office where I can do all my work and stuff like that. Um, shop vehicles that we have, we have a company van that we use we have my camaro we have a gremlin we have the razor we have a golf cart as well as my employees have several of their own vehicles that we use for shows so um, our break room is located downstairs the break room is a full kitchen we have bre breakfast lunch and dinner or whatever together any meal that we do we try to do it as a family we all meet down there there's days where i'll cook breakfast for the guys in the morning there's other days where we just do lunch um, but the break room has everything you would need, uh, and they can bring in their own stuff as well. Down there is also our, our stock room. Um, the stock room is kept and organized by manufacturer, so we put all the JL, all the Alpine, all the Rockford, all the Kenwood, all the Sony, all in the same area of that stock room, so it's easy to go, um, and it's all uh, in the computer system as well. Uh, we have a special area of the garage downstairs that we use for our warranty area, and that's where the technicians or anybody will put something that's uh, defective, and then I can go and check that and get the warranty process going and moving. So uh, a lot of signage downstairs. We have a place where you can sign out if you are going to be um, needing some time off. We have motivational things down there as well as all the state and safety uh, required stuff that the, uh, the state leaves on us. So that's a basic idea of the behind the scenes of the store. My name is Justin Smith. I am a mobile electronics technician here at Sanford Sound. I've been an installer here for about a year now, but I've been involved with Sanford Sound for the last 12 years. My biggest role here is the installation and troubleshooting of audio video systems and remote starters. If I'm not working on a job, a lot of times I will try to find some way around the shop to be helpful, whether it's helping a coworker finish up what they're doing or even helping them troubleshoot something. Some of the time I even like to go upstairs and talk with customers. I love that I get to call this workplace my home. My coworkers understand me for who I am, my quirks, um, all of what makes me me really helps in my diagnostic and, and installing abilities. Um, I feel like I really belong here. My specialty is being able to visualize and understand how parts of an install work and connect together. 
I have 20 years of remote start experience with a total of 30 very passionate years of audio experience. I taught myself how to solder at 10 years old and started learning the limits of things like voltage and amperage with lots of trial and error and gaining a huge respect for electricity. This really helps when it comes to diagnostics, diagnostics as well, which can be very rewarding. My favorite thing to install would have to be remote starters. They're second nature to me, and I take pride in a quality install, sometimes soldering, um, really, really nice taped up wraps, as well as knowing the customer is going to be happy every time they use it. One of the things I did as a kid, uh, my parents really didn't like it very much, but I would always take everything I got apart. Um, you know, very, very young age, my mother used to try and keep me busy. Uh, she'd give me an old car radio and a screwdriver and I would take apart whatever I could on the thing until there was nothing left. A um, couple years go by, you know, she had a, a car stereo and her little Toyota Tracel, and that's what got me addicted to bass. Um, a pair of MTX Terminators in a hatchback enclosure um, in a little 40 watt Kenwood amplifier running off of a Sanyo shaft style radio. We're talking 1990, I think, was the first time I heard bass and never wanted to be without it. So a couple years later, she, you know, gets a new car, doesn't feel like installing all that stuff in her car. And so she gives me the, the Terminator box, but I didn't have anything legitimate to hook it up to except for a little two watt per channel radio or whatever it is that I had in my room. So I did that for years. I would play around with that. Um, and then whenever somebody would ask me, hey, I got this old car audio equipment, do you want it? I'm like, yes, I love this stuff. I don't care if it doesn't work or if it's broken. Um, the first real honest amplifier that I ever used was a Pioneer um, with a DIN cable. I had to cut the DIN cable off and figure out you know, the remote turn on, the power wires, the signal, um, you know, signal wires, speaker wires. And I used that thing for a long time. Um, you know, and then finally, as time went on, I got my first car and got, you know, it was an Optimus 110, something with an actual crossover on it. And it made the bass sound so much better. And just from then on, it was, again, still using whatever I could get my hands on because I didn't, have a lot of money. I learned how to take what would sometimes, most of the time, didn't work at all and make it work. And that's kind of held true right up until now. Uh, 40 years old, um, doesn't matter if it's 50 years old or 10 years old. If it's something that somebody is throwing away, I like to know how it works. Um, and uh, Jack's even seen it before. We, uh, you know, I had a vehicle in here one time Headlight switch, broken trace on the circuit board due to a vehicle theft uh, and whoever, you know, was trying to steal it, you know, cutting all the wires and popping fuses and this and that. And I was able to diagnose the headlight switch and repair it. You know, just little things like that um, allow me to exercise my addiction to 12 volt. Um, it's just something I live for. You know, I've, I've done other jobs in the last 30 years, well, 20 years since I've been an adult, and I keep coming back to car audio. It is my thing. Um, really don't want to do anything else. Yeah, there's plenty of other ways I could make more money than this, but this is what I love doing. The amount of bays that we have here at Sanford Sound totals to three with spillover. We have the first two bays, which are the, essentially the main bays. Most of the work happens here. The third bay we have is also a spillover bay for when we have extra work, such as head units, starters, other simple things, up to and including tint. The fourth area that we have, which is just inside the garage door, is also a spillover very effective on winter days when we need to warm a vehicle up. The tool storage and benches that we have, as you can see, we each have our own benches. 
Here at Sanford Sound, we're responsible for upkeep of our area and also of our tools. We come into this industry with our own tools, shows a little bit more pride that way. Along the way, we also develop certain specialty tools where we have to modify certain things, i.e. sockets to take off post-style radios and various other tools. Following on to the tool benches that we have, we also have what we call the infamous gray bin. The gray bin is where we store all of our accessories for the various jobs that we do, up to and including zip ties, shrink wrap, tapes, uh, Tessa tape, vinyl tape, RCA heads, switches, basically anything. I, I don't want to waste your time with everything, but that's where we store all of the accessories. Following next to the gray bin, we have the overflow bench. The overflow bench here is where we store our overstock on wires, various fuses, smaller items, and also old new stock. What you're seeing now is our fabrication area. Our fabrication area is completely tailor built to us in the types of jobs that we do here at Sanford Sound. You'll notice that we have a flushed in router table, we have the table saw, we have the chop saw. Future items that we are looking at procuring is a potential CNC machine and a large format 3D printer. Not included in the fab room, but included upstairs, we also have a vinyl plotter where we can cut a lot of our own decals and other vinyls to help enhance that customer's ride. Recent upgrades that we've done to the bays is you'll notice the floor. We completely coated the floor with this red right here, not only to help with the aesthetics of the look, but also to clean it up and make it a safer and better workplace for us. Other upgrades include multiple outlets that we've added throughout and the LED light upgrade to give us a lot more lighting in the bay. Some of the jobs that we've had here at Sanford Sound include the van, which is a 1984 Chevy Van 20. We did a full system upgrade in that. The system that we installed was Memphis with an Alpine Halo head unit. The system includes two three-way systems up front, along with four component speakers throughout the rear and the cabin of the van. The sub box was custom designed and custom built by us, built by Justin, and it includes two eight-inch Mojo woofers. We used VIV amps to power the entire system, along with various LEDs throughout it. Another job that we did to illustrate the diversity of the jobs that we have here was a Sun Station Power Sports cigarette boat. This boat was massive. Two 580 something horsepower engines side by side with each other. The customer wanted to be able to hear the music over the engines, as anybody would. The system that we built for that included 8-inch JL Marine speakers, 7-inch JL Marine speakers, 6-inch JL Marine speakers, and also two 10-inch JL Marine subwoofers. It was massive. Another big part of our business here is motorcycles and the upgrades that we can do to them. Everything from upgrading their head units, lighting, to adding subwoofers to the bags, and we love it here. We've had more bikes than we've ever done. One of the ones that I enjoyed the most was actually an Indian. Now everybody deals with Harley. Harley's a great bike. I never actually got to deal with an Indian. A customer came in looking to accent his bike in a way that will make its beauty shine. We decided to do a million color LED kit throughout the engine and the underneath of the bike, and I was given free reign to do so. That came out beautifully. Another bike that came in was a trike, a full trike from a military veteran member of our community that wanted to be able to not only stand out, but have that safety feature of being able to be seen at night a little bit better. After adding those lights to that trike, it was beautiful. Again, showing to that culture of making sure that the customer is happy, he was ecstatic. 
Other jobs that we've had, dump trucks. We get a lot of dump trucks here, radio upgrades, CV upgrades, tractor trailer trucks. We did a trailer, a uh, bike hauler trailer. We had to install cameras and that presented its own unique challenges. Here at Sanford Sound, we were able to figure out a solution and make it so that customer was happy and able to transport those bikes down to Florida. All right, so let's talk about branding. And let's talk about what I do different or what I do visually to make my store different. The first thing I do at Sanford Sound is I have an extremely clean and well-organized store. The minute you walk in here, it smells good and it immediately makes you feel comfortable. Okay, but the branding thing goes deeper. I know lately everyone's been talking about you. You're the brand. I've been doing this since 1995 um, and I have been promoting my brand since that, since the beginning of time. So I've done stuff like sponsored local baseball teams. I sponsor race cars. I sponsor rappers. I've sponsored country acts. The last three years, I've sponsored the summer concert series at a local concert venue. And I go down there and I promote my business and I set up a booth and I set up a tent with my logos on it. And I bring my vehicles down there and we show stuff off and I hand out swag with my logo, which my logo is something that I've had since 1995. And I have everything you can imagine with my brand on it. Sanford Sound koozies. I have Sanford Sound lanyards. I've done Sanford Sound patches. I have Sanford Sound cups with the drink cups that you have. I have beanies and regular hats. I have Sanford Sound glasses that I hand out at all these concerts. I have stickers that have been getting put on cars since I don't know how long. And one of the things is my logo, it's actually, the D is actually a music note. You, a lot of people not re, may not realize that. So my brand has been out there. I have air fresheners that we put in vehicles, cars that have different scents. I have lights. My colors are red and black and white. This year, I actually decided that I wanted a different logo and I incorporated or I got a hold of a guy to come and he designed me. I wanted a shirt that kind of looked like a Hollister. I wanted something that people would feel more comfortable wearing. So I had this shirt designed with a new logo. It's got my established since 1995. On the front, it just says Sanford Sound. So, but I have t-shirts, I have hoodies, I have pink, I have light colored, I have women's t-shirts, I have spaghetti strap shirts for women, I have hoodies with, with or sweatshirts without hoods, with hoods, gray shirts, I have everything. So I have been branding here at Sanford Sound for a very, very, very long time. Stickers made this year with this, this year's uh, logo. Um, my clothing, everything that we wear here at the shop is all branded. It's got my, my logo on it, whether it's the new one or the old one. The guys downstairs wear them every single day. They wear t-shirts. The sales guys all wear a collared shirt. Um, we always have our hair groomed. We always look good. We're always clean and we have a really good time. For God's sakes, I even have a Sanford Sound calendar with Mrs. Sanford Sound um, with a pretty girl that every year I hire a different girl and we have calendars made for the guys to put in their shops. So I probably think I have every angle of branding covered and I've been doing it for many, many years. After the sale, everybody gets a card. I have postcards that I had made. These postcards have sticker or have pictures of all the different things that we've done proudly was top 12 a couple of years ago and it's a postcard and we will just write to them and briefly explain to them we thank them for their business ask them to come back in for a later on for a tune-up and we can kind of go over that uh, job and 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 tweak it a little bit and maybe sell them some more stuff so my logo if you look around here and the way this store is put together is everywhere so branding at Sanford Sound is a huge thing clean store fresh smelling Come in and have a great time. All right, guys, part two, business summary. The scope of work and business performance. What are some of the offerings that my shop provides to the public? Well, I do a lot of stuff here. Um, I do commercial sound. I did all the PA systems and the sound systems at the local baseball park for the Sanford Manors. I did Cobb Stadium. I've done numerous restaurants all up and down the seacoast. We touched on that a little bit earlier. Um, I just recently did a hotel. 
down in Old Orchard Beach. I do people's pool spaces and their decks and that kind of stuff. So uh, we offer a lot of other things to the public. And, wh and why? Because it's all sound. We're a sound shop, so we want people to enjoy sound. And uh, that's what we promote, whether it's in your vehicle or at your home. So uh, what products am I planning to offer in the future? Uh, this year I'm looking into bringing in PPF, paint protection film, and getting into auto detailing. I'll do that through subcontractors um, and get, bring them in there. I have the extra base space, so we'll open that up and we'll, we'll dabble a little bit in PPF and detailing and see where that goes and see how that grows. Um, my revenue for the last few years, ever since I got this new building, um, my revenue has grown every year since 20 to 21 to 22. We all know 21 and 22 were huge, and those were great, great years for everybody in the industry. Um, my 23 right now, my numbers going through November are equal to what I did for the entire year of 22. So I am on track to have a better year in 23, even with the world the way it is and the economy and fuel bills and grocery bills and everything being up. Um, we're, still, uh, we're still doing very, very well. Um, so what are some of the reasons that my, my uh, revenue has been up? There's a lot of reasons, I said, but I think a lot of it is 28 years of doing the right thing. Um, my word of mouth advertising is over the top and people really like us and they like what we do here and they continue to send people here and that every year grows. I mean, eventually it might top off, but right now um, I'm growing every year. So uh, it's been awesome. So uh, section three, customers, what do they get when they come in? What kind of interaction? When a customer walks in my store, we read everybody a little bit differently. You kind of have to based on whether you got the Wu-Tang Clan coming in or you got grandpa coming in with his walker and wanting a remote start. But we're always very, very friendly. We always smile. We say, welcome to Sanford Sound. What brings you in today? And we try to open up those questions and we try to always leave it with a, a, something that's going to make them answer us back. That's the biggest thing is to get that com communication going because you have to become their friend before you can get their comfort to, to sell them something. So, um, and then we just give them some space. We, we don't high pressure them um, at all. So when they call on the phone, I tell my guys, when, when you answer the phone, think of something that makes you happy and smile. Because when you answer the phone and you're doing that, it's going to portray through that phone that you're, you're happy. We change it seasonally. So right now it's going to be, thank you for calling Sanford Town. My name is Jack. How may I help you? Or... Thank you for happy holidays. Thank you for calling Sanford Sound. This is Jack. How can we help you? Always a very positive, uplifting type of thing. We try to never put anybody on hold, but if we do have to put them on hold, I do have a music on hold playing that's uh, talking to them about all the different products that we sell here at the store. So they're always being um, sold. So um, the sales process in place for my staff to follow is simple. We talked about that earlier, but I have sales sheets, build sheets. Um, we ask them those questions, we get their basic ideas, and then we draw it all out um, on, a, on a piece of paper so that they can look at it, shows our adding, shows what the price comes to. Closing a sale is as simple as asking for the sale. So you can feel that when you're talking to somebody. Everybody's a little different, but you can feel a sale and how to close it. And the biggest thing is to ask them. Come right out and say, so you want to book that? Yeah, let's get that in. Can we get a deposit on that sale? So. Um, our process for handling warranties and returns is simple. We have a place downstairs. Anything that's defective, that type of stuff, goes on a certain bench. It rolls. Um, the uh, technicians will let us know that something's bad. We will then take that, get an RA from the company. Uh, everything's on that table. We warranty everything for a one-year warranty on, the, on all the manufacturer stuff. Um, some stuff does come with up to three-year warranty, depending on that, like the Sony things and things like that. Um, and then we warranty our labor for life. So, and then from there we roll that counter right to the UPS shipping station and the UPS takes it right out. So, um, communicating with my clients once we've got their keys is as simple as just talking to them. Once we get their keys, if we are working on their vehicle and something comes up that's out of the realm of normalness, if, if we notice something when we take that dash apart, we will stop working on the car. We will call that customer and let them know ahead of time um, what they're up against and let them know what we found. We can send them pictures. We can send them video Sometimes they're in my waiting area and we can just kind of go over and talk to them But we try to always keep that communication open once we get their keys uh, Whether they're here or we have a phone number so um, Follow-up procedures after the sale. We have postcards that we mail out. We talked about that earlier um, 
my myself and my sales guys will write a little note to somebody. We try to do that within a week or two of the sale. They will also schedule um, a, uh, a follow-up uh, on a big system uh, a month after the job is done so we can bring the car back in, tweak it, adjust the subs, do whatever we need to do, and then go through their presets and look at their base and treble settings and stuff and try to learn from that what their next upgrade might be. If their base is on high, then we know they want subwoofers. So um, so that's that's what we do following up the, from that. So uh, regularly cleaned areas, my store is spotless all the time. I'm extremely, extremely uh, de um, anal about that. Um, air fresheners going all the time. We have different scents that we go. We have a cleaning log in the bathroom. Um, they clean the break room all the time. They clean the waiting area all the time. They're always in there making fresh popcorn. Um, when I always tell the people, you're selling the sizzle, not the steak. So you get them like Starbucks, man. You walk into a Starbucks, you immediately feel like you're at home and it's you're going to buy a coffee and you don't mind spending 10 bucks on it because, wow, look at the place. That goes for me as well here. I really, really push for that kind of an experience when people come in. So um, do I have part four, company and employee policies? Yes, I do have an employee handbook. Um, on the front of the handbook, we have our seven core values of the business. But then as you go through here, this talks about all the things that Sanford Sound does when we are established, how our vacation pay works, substance abuse, bereavement leave, um, what's expected of them, how payroll deductions work, what paid holidays they get, um, the uh, confidentiality, confidentiality of, of compensation. I try not to let my guys talk about what they make because that makes hard feelings. Severance pays and things like that. So we do have an employee book that they use. Um, the uh, vacation log and the holiday policy is all in that log, but uh, anybody that wants something, we have a board downstairs that they write on. We do everything within our power to meet what they want for time off. We do have blackout dates through the holidays, um, but we try to meet that. So um, what is the policy for calling in sick? You don't call in sick, period. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, if you need to call in sick these days, I, I would prefer a call, but a lot of these kids text out which is tough, but it is the way and it is the world we live in. So, um, but we, they don't do it very often. Uh, you know, when people come into work and they love what they do and we have a great time and, and it's all family and you know that when you leave somebody there that's going to have to pick up your slack and the next day you come back, we're going to rag you about it a little bit. Um, you got to be pretty sick to call in sick and it doesn't happen very often. If it does, it's within reason. You know, COVID, we lost a few guys, things like that. So, um, in the last 12 to 18 months, has there been an issue with an employee where you've creatively managed that customer or that, that employee? I thought about this a little bit, trying to figure out uh, what to talk about. And one thing stands out in my mind, and that is a kid that worked for me, his name is Seth. He now owns a company called Flash Studios. Um, he is my videographer now. Seth and I did not see eye to eye when we worked together. Um, he was always on his phone. He was always watching videos. He didn't really have a complete passion for this industry. He loved music, but he wasn't really into my line of work. And him and I, he's much younger than I am, and we butted heads a little bit. Um, and it didn't work out, and, we, and he left. But he's my videographer now because that's his passion, and that's what he wants to do. So I figured out a way to rekindle my relationship with Seth, and Seth has now come back with Flash Studios. He filmed this entire video top-notch quality stuff, and that's how I turned a negative into a positive uh, with him. So, Part five, staff and growing. Training. Do I have a training program? Yes, we do. We go to different shows. We go to the GoFast shows. We go to any of the Remote Start online trainings. We follow all the YouTube channels for all our manufacturers, um, and we continue to push that. We have monthly meetings here at my shop. Um, we do have training. We do, we, we continue to have monthly meetings every month. Um, we meet once a week as the managers and we talk about things that we need to talk about. So, um, and we do that r regularly. So, um, training and growth and books and things. I read a ton. Um, knowledge fest has helped me a lot, but I became very good friends with Ruby. Um, and he's helped me with some of the, his books with crushing the day, the, Social Media Mastery. Um, I read Tom's book. Tom's book led me into reading the Dream Manager book. Um, 
So I read, I read Rocket Fuel, another great publication. All these books help, and there's a ton more. But I also share those with my employees because I want them to understand my point, and everybody can pick up stuff. So we do have um, growth and resources or growth resources and things like that. Do I offer completion incentives? Essentially, every day here is an incentive, man. We um, we treat each other really great. Um, there's free lunches. There's we go on trips. We do things together. Um, there's attaboys. Um, we 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 publicly will acknowledge somebody. A piece, I'll make a plaque once in a while. Things like that um, to to show them that I appreciate the the extra effort that they put in there. So a success story this year. Um, with one of my employees. Well, Jay, the the young boy that started working here a couple of years ago, um, started here as a fresh out of high school kid. Um, He's been here about a year and a half now. He was the most shyest kid at all. He wouldn't talk to people. He wouldn't go out front. Um, he is now my top sales guy and he became my sales manager. That guy is amazing. We took a young kid that was afraid, didn't know anything about audio. We've converted him. He became a young man. Um, and he just does an amazing job here at the shop for us. And, uh, that would be my, my success story for an employee this year. So, um, part six, sales and marketing explanation of marketing sources and effectiveness of each. So my marketing sources, I use Haibu. Um, they help me with all my website and my social media and all that kind of stuff. Um, they, I schedule all my Facebook and Instagram posts and TikTok videos for a month. Um, I do it one morning and I do it month by month. So it's done. I don't have to worry about it at all. And it's all done. And that's through a software program through Haibu. Um, and that works effectively well. I can add to it at any given time, um, but that runs in the background. So um, a breakdown of my social media. Um, I was always pretty good at social media, but I read Drewby's book, went online and uh, did a... Uh, Zoom a meeting with Drewby and we talked about a bunch of stuff and he has helped me uh, really master how to use social media for my um, thing. So special sales or events, every single year I have my annual show and shine. It's going on my 28th year this year. Um, that's a huge event. It draws hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars um, and vendors and people. Um, we have special sales yearly. Right now we have a subwoofer special going on. So uh, we do do a lot with the sales. Indust part seven, industry and community involvement. What don't I do, man? It says, what community events do you participate in? There's not one I don't. This summer I played the music and DJed for the National Night Out. I do the Sanford Chamber of Commerce car show every year. I go and do guest DJ stuff at the Sanford Mainers uh, baseball games. Um, I went to Boston and, and was in the Motorhead car show. Um, this year I did the Elks Giving Trees as well as the Spree Trees for the um, uh, Sanford's alumni. Um, so I am involved and have been for 28 years. So anybody in this community knows Sanford Sound and knows who Jack Bogart is. So um, stuff that I plan to go to or industry events and organizations that I uh, participate in. Um, obviously SEMA every year. I went last year to the Rockford thing. Uh, we go to Knowledge Fest two or three times a year. We go to the Go Fast shows, the, the Winter Summit, as well as their Spring Show. So we do all of that kind of stuff, and I continue and continue to promote my name in this area through many civic events. So that's really everything there is to know about that section, and uh, I thank you for your time. All right, guys, so the question on the table is, why do we deserve to win Retailer of the Year? And why do we deserve to represent the 12 old industry for 2024? And uh, I personally have looked at the top 12 stores that are out there. Uh, we're up against some hard-hitting stores. Everybody deserves to win. Um, they are doing stuff, builds for SEMA. They're doing builds for sports players. And we're in a small little state of Maine. So how are we going to do it? And this is how we're going to win. We're going to win because we've been doing this for 28 years. We've been doing the right thing for 28 years. We've been treating customers fair. Um, every one of my past staff, current customers, everybody, they all refer customers to us. We, we do not have disgruntled customers. Um, we treat everybody very, very fair, whether they're an employee or they're a customer. So 
Um, we've also figured out our market. I mean, yeah. we know where we're at. We're, we're against a store in, in Georgia that has 5 million people around them, okay? We're in a town of 20,000. Right yeah. We know all of them. Yeah, and we know them all. Oh, yeah, especially Jay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, there, and there's 1.3 million people in the entire state of Maine. So th we've yeah. done that because we figured out how to get repeat business. We treat people fair. Yeah. We have people come back because they refer people to us because we have to survive in a small community. And we have been doing it for 28 years. So, um, you know, we're the local 12 volt guys and we've expanded that. We're, we're, we're the local sound guys. We used to be the, you know, the guys that were putting subwoofers in the trunk and, and a radio and an eight track player or a cassette player. <laughs> car, phones. car phone. Yeah, yeah or yeah, a car yeah. phone. I mean, and now we're doing stadiums and yeah. we're doing um, restaurants and hotels. And we're doing big PA systems in, in the school department. So um, it's shops, huge. yeah, it's crazy. Shops around us. I mean, we got, you know, you think about the shops that surround Sanford Sound in a 100 foot or 100 mile radius. Um, and then you think of my car show that we have in the summertime. And they're all here. They come here. Yeah. Every single one of them. And every one of them promotes me. They put my flyers in their store. Yeah. And, and they, talk about Sanford Sound and then they come here with their builds and they win my trophies yeah. and we shoot the shit with them and then they come to my parties Todd from Todd's Touch went to dinner with us last year at the, yeah. at the end of the show I don't know what the competition is like for these stores that are in an area where there's 15 stores in a 10 mile radius um, but our shops around us all love us and they, and they go to us and, and that's because we've been we're the cool guys in this area. So we always um, fall back on each other. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, this shop is extremely active in the community. You know, I'm a retired 27 year firefighter in town. <laughs> um, we do the music for the Sanford Chamber of Commerce car shows. I do national night out car shows. Um, I sponsor bowling teams. I sponsor race boats. I sponsor race cars. Didn't you do Dancing with the Stars? Yeah, I did Dancing with the Stars. Actually, <laughs> with Justin, was, for yeah, that, you that was, night, yeah, yeah, you were the DJ yep. for that. Um, Who knew we had and, Fred Astaire? Uh, here. Yeah, and you know the motivation of that was my wife. Uh, my wife told me that you're gonna suck. You can't do that. You don't know how to dance. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? So I went on and I trained and I trained, and I got Judge's Choice, and I got top three <laughs> out of 15 t uh, couples that were in that thing. So. Um, you know, that's, that's why we deserve to win, because we do that kind of <laughs> stuff. And, and, you know, that's why I feel Sanford Sound should win this whole 12-volt retailer of the year. I think that moving forward, we would be a great representation of that. Um, and this is why. I mean, because we do stuff as a family. We yeah. do stuff as a team. And we, and we will continue to do that. And we continue to get repeat customers. And, and not only is that why we should win Retailer of the Year, hmm. uh, I think that's why we should win Best Store Culture. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. because I don't know how the other stores are, but, you know, our mission statement is we're like a dysfunctional family, right? Oh, we're God. all different. We've got the devil. <laughs> we've got the freaking hippie. We've got the freaking – we got Star Trek geek, and we got – I'm not really sure what you're into, but Jay. it ain't what we're into. Yeah. yeah yep. Jay. So, we've got Jay. Um, you know, so we're, and we're always busting on each other and, and we're always together and, and we laugh and we have lunch together every day or I cook breakfast in the morning. Well, at this point, I feel like we know each other better than we know our families we know, at home. We know each other's oh families. I've, been, yeah. in, yeah. I've yeah. been in weddings yeah. uh, for my guys. I've had, I've had three guys at this table have been past employees that left. And they came back because of the culture and because of how cool and how much fun we have here and how they missed what we do. I mean, heck, you've been my Christmas parties and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah We've been skydiving yeah. together. We go to Knowledge Fest. We go to CES. We just took Jay to see Lita Ford, and he got to meet Lita Ford. That was awesome. His, <laughs> His hair metal host. icon in a cool-ass van. Lied to him about your age and got you drunk all night long. It was awesome. Oh. So, we've been whitewater rafting. We do car shows together. Wait, you're not of age? You know? No, I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought so. What's that? I thought he was of age. Yeah, well, yeah so did the bar. Um, we're going to Atlantic City to, this year, and uh, you'll be 21 this year when we go to Atlantic City, yes. so you'll be good. Yes. Uh, but we're going to Atlantic City for Knowledge Fest. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping to go to uh, Knowledge Fest in Vegas this year. Um, you know, so... The impact on that is our morale. Yeah. 
I mean, the, the morale that we have, everybody just feeds off each other. We boost each yeah. other. It's a love-hate relationship. I'm not going to tell you there's not days where I'm like, God. But you know what? Nobody calls out sick. You we, guys never We all want to be here. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you enjoy being here. And if you call out, it's for a really good reason. Yeah, like COVID or yeah. dying. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, or guilt. Or, you, you know, yeah, you know. Yeah. You, <laughs> what did you do? Were you really sick yesterday? Right. So <coughs> I think that it just really helps with that. So, you know, and and things that we're going to do to maintain that, I think we, you know, and to and maybe improve. I think we continue to do our meetings that we do. We yes. do we we meet monthly. Um, or more. For, or more. Honestly, monthly yeah. minimum, and sometimes every other week that we'll meet with managers and talk about what's happening and, and, and what we need to do, and, and we, I think we continue to do that. Mm. I think we continue to broaden getting involved in civic things. I mean, this year we travel to Boston, which is two hours, twice. and set up booths twice for, for car shows down there. Um, and so we're broadening our horizons, I guess, or our exposure, and I think we continue Definitely. to do that because it's, you know, the gain, you know, if we close the store for the day to go to a car show, the gain that we get far exceeds the revenue loss for that day. Um, so I, I just think that. So and Well, it also helps to, to integrate us more with the community, with the car community. Because we can, as you've talked about, the store that we've had, you know, the store that we are, the car community is nationwide. And the more right. that we can interact and connect with it, that, that's just bonus. That's, yeah. that's, that's huge. Yeah. Like you said, with finding our market with the Top Gun Award from CompuSAR, oh. we live in Maine. Everybody yeah. wants a remote start here. It gets pretty cold. We know our market really, really well here. Yeah. Right. Yep. So, you know, and so I think that's that's why we should get culture, man, because culture is about the scene yes. and, and, and the car scene and the family scene and working together. And I don't know of any shops that have what we have, guys. No, I think not it's, at all. you know, it, yeah, passion. we all have passion well said you know it's just um we just love what we do it's hard to say there's not days that suck um, there's always going to be a challenging day but even on the worst hard days hard jobs whatever it is i'm not dying to get home and get away from it all because it's worse at home <laughs> <laughs> hold on somebody get him a peppermint patty yeah yeah i need some chocolate after that one yeah 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 <laughs> To All piggyback right. off of that, it doesn't feel every morning as if you're coming to work. No. Most people no. will dread going to work. Coming here feels like you're hanging out with a family at your local sound shop. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to do that every day? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And um, let's be honest, who doesn't it. get that little little butterfly after we're done with some sort of job or whatever, and you see the customer just oh, absolutely hopping around, the sense around. of accomplishment. Oh is, my God, yeah. yeah. If I don't get to see the customer when they pick up their vehicle, I'm always asking, what did they think about yeah. it? <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Even so, when sparks fly from under the dash when you're in there soldering. Yeah, well, hey, yeah. you got to watch out. We care. We'll, we'll get <laughs> you. We care. Yeah. yeah, we care about yeah. you. Yeah. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's why we deserve to win, guys. I think uh, we would make a huge impact on the 12-volt industry, not only locally, but nationally. Um, and I think that the uh, organization would be well represented by us and our group of awesome guys that work here. So, here, here. 2024, baby. All right, performance awards, most improved stores. So I've made a lot of changes over the years. Um, this year I uh, updated all the lighting in the store. Um, we put LED lighting throughout the uh, entire upstairs as well as the bay area for the guys downstairs um, the other changes I do is I am always changing my displays and and my I have uh, displays of, of, of Jeeps on rocks I have um, surfboards that I made out there with speakers in them um, so I'm continuously updating the store every time you come in here every month or two it looks totally different so um, Changes in personnel over the years, well, first off, I have a videographer now. I hired a guy that used to work for me. He came in, he handles all my content. Um, I brought back an employee that I had many years ago that had left and um, just kind of burnt out. I brought him back on board and he has helped my business considerably and the fact that he was gone for a while and came back. 
So all that kind of stuff has uh, helped the store. I have a little truck outside, a little old 53 Chevy pickup. We decorate that, sh that truck every year um, or every season. We will do it for Christmas. We do it for Easter. I do it for the, uh, in the summertime. Um, I did lobster traps on it because we're from Maine. Um, I do Halloween stuff on it. Um, people come by and, and take pictures with that thing all the time. I had people last year using my truck as their Christmas card background. So um, I am always working to improve that. These changes have impacted my because people talk about Sanford Sound. People are always going, what's he going to do next? Um, you know, I went from a little 2,000 square foot shop a couple years ago to this big, beautiful building. And every, every chance I get, we're doing upgrades within this company. So I think that I should win... Uh, most improved store just because of what I've done over the last two years and how far I've come um, in making my store it, it's it's an experience people come here not only because they want to buy stuff but just to walk around and check out all the cool stuff so they don't do that to a lot of car stereo shops but they come here with their kids to show them all the cool stuff my demo vehicles my stuff out front um, and my interactive displays so that's why I feel I should win this award. Uh, performance awards, best online presence. Describe what social media you use and why. So I currently use Twitter, I use Facebook, I use TikTok, and I use Instagram. And I use Google. So they all have benefits. Um, I dabble a little bit in YouTube. Um, with videos and things like that, um, especially now with my new content guy. Um, and I'm making reels now, which I never used to do. Um, and every platform kind of hits a different person. So Facebook is, is a different demographic than Twitter and a little different than Instagram. And Instagram is only pictures and a little bit of video. And so they all have their benefits um, and they all seem to help in different ways. So I consistently are posting new material I post daily um, on my personal site and I'll tag my business in that I also as I talked earlier um, have a program that I schedule all my online stuff for the entire month um, and those posts go out every day those are also um, timed specifically um, I will do postings in the morning between the hours of 7 and say 9 um, and then I do again postings at night. Um, the reason for that is because I became friends with Drewby Wilson and he has mentored me on a lot of stuff in reference to how to master most social media. And people are sitting home in the morning drinking coffee, getting ready to go to work and they're on their phone and then they're busy all day and they're not on their phone. And then they're home at night after dinner and they're on their phone again. So those are the best times to target that. So that's all been uh, a process that I think about. Um, type of stuff that I post, it, I use his um, analogy of form, um, and that basically is family, occupation, recreational, and motivational, and you rotate that kind of stuff. So you're going to see when I post on my personal site, sometimes I'm going to post pictures of me and my grandkids and my family, then I'm going to post a picture of me and my wife doing something, then I'm going to post something about me with my car. Um, and my occupation and I may post something about um, the fire department and then I may post something about my Sanford Sound business um, and then I'll po post a motivational thing. I use memes a lot. Um, the memes work. They're funny. They're humorous. They're, the people enjoy those. I make my own memes as well as some of them I will copy from other people but some of them I'll use my own imagery and I'll make my own memes. Um, because that leaves a lasting impression on people. So, um, how does that impact my business? It's amazing how it impacts, impacts my business. I am forever being told, wow, I love your post. Um, my likes on my posts have gone up. My, my own daughter will tag me in a post because she gets more likes on her post because she tagged her dad. Um, and this is my younger daughter. And that's because so many people follow me and so many people follow us different formats that I use. And my daughter might get 15 likes on something and I'll get 200. Um, so that is huge. It's huge. 
Um, so it works extremely well. Um, changes that I made, the biggest change was Druby. Getting to know Druby and, and his books and reading his Crushing the Day books and reading these books on how to social media and all that kind of stuff and then having Zoom calls with him and, and, and talking to him. Um, that has been the biggest change and I will continue to follow him and do what he says to do because it works um, for me and I will continue to post two and three times a day. Um, if I miss a day, I'll double up the next day. Um, but um, I will continue to do that. I think that I should win this award for best online presence because I am a living proof example of how well it can work. And I took what I never used to do, which was post a ton. And then this year I posted since last year in like January, February, I started posting daily and my growth of my Sanford sound has doubled the amount of followers that I have. Um, I am continuing to get new customers. I'm continuing to get new followers and it just grows and grows and grows. And I think people actually look excited to see what I might post today. So um, it's, it's huge. So that's why I feel I should win this award as uh, the best online presence for a store.